your girl is enjoying the beautiful weather. Look at that background behind me. Oh, ah, e. I wish it was wider, but whatever. So here, look. I'm not gonna eat from the actual. I'm just scraping from the top. Okay, let's enjoy this together. Uh huh. Yeah, you cold? You cold? Just when you think you've seen it all in life, you see a woman eating snow off a car. What's next? Call me Carson's double gangers making out with a freaking car. He really likes that. My friend, because it's not normal and you may have people that don't understand. What the fuck is going on here? everyone it's the natural here and welcome back to another video on the channel and yes we are back again with another tumor extra video and this show pretty much is is anything that I have missed in my main show this month in review tumor show goes into this extra which gives you a bit more extra of anything else that happened in month so what the hell have I have missed in the month of January of 2021. Donald Trump's reign of absolute terror is over because Joe Biden has just been presented as the new president of America for the 42nd time. During this month, Joe Biden um, was presented as being the next president of America after he won the general election way back in November. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like fucking aeons ago since Joe Biden won the election because so much has happened since then. It's quite astonishing. But anyway, um, he won the general election, he became the next 40, he became the 46th president of America, which means, like I said at the start, Donald Trump's absolute terror of absolute carnage of absolute absolute what the hell would you even call his reign of four years let's start back when he was president of america in 2016 he put a wall between mexico and america because of immigration then just slightly through he single-handedly mocked disability he mocked depression he mocked many other things and then he got impeached the first time and then the whole global pandemic happened and he said it was a made up virus in China. He called it a fucking hoax. Pretty much half the million people have, in America have nearly died of this virus. It's over 400,000 people have died. Over 25 million cases in America have the vi had symptoms of COVID-19. And then to make it even more drastic, he tells people that we're going to storm the capital. Like, how does, how can you tell me this man is literally the best president ever? He's go down as one of the worst presidents in the history of all the presidents they've ever had. Bar fucking none. There's not one person out there that can tell me he's done something great. You know what? Anyone out there who's watching this video who is a Donald Trump fan and who single-handedly thinks he's great, tell me in the comments what he's done great. Tell me. Because I swear to God, I don't know anything. And people may say, oh, well, the media just make our clickbait stories, you know, natural. Like, oh my God, he's just, you know, media just make Trump as this villain. Tell me what he's done great. Tell me what he's done great. Dude, he couldn't even ban the worst social media app, TikTok. Like, you know you suck at your job. And you know you suck as being president. You couldn't even ban an app that makes kids do this. 
this is the daily life of hanging out with my mother, the woman in the flesh who has had sex with my ex. Here she is, everybody, in the wild, living her dream up, doing her thing. How does it feel? I'm famous. <laughs> and for all the people out here who think I'm a Joe Biden guy, I'm not. I'm not a Joe Biden guy. I don't think Joe Biden is going to single-handedly make America great again. I don't think he's going to turn America from what it is right now, being the most divided country ever, to somehow making it amazing. He has a lot of work to do, Joe Biden. He knows that. Um, I think he would do the best he can. The difference being what Joe Biden's going to do for America than what Donald Trump did for America, didn't do for America is Donald Trump was a Twitter troll running America. Joe Biden will be a president running America. I'm sorry, but um, okay, I'm riding this, which is a tweaker mobile nonetheless, right? But when I got to stop to wonder, my guy, what kind of aerodynamics are you getting from that? CG Project Red, the developers who made Cyberpunk 2077, came out with a big apology saying that they pretty much should have not released Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, 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 yes! No, 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 fuck, shit! If you need to have no idea who CG Project Red is and what Cyberpunk 2077 is, um, I would say I don't know why you used to be living. I don't know what you used to be doing, but okay. CG Project Red is a Russian gaming company and they were the developers making Cyberpunk 2077, the game that was the most hyped game in existence. It's, it would be even it was the most hyped game since probably since GTA 5, maybe ever. Everyone was sitting there back in 2013 when the teaser trailer came out saying this game's gonna be amazing, it looks epic, I'm in for it. And then CG Project Red had the delays, the delays, the delays. People were fed up with the delays. At times I think there was like five delays of this game. And when they did release the game in the 10th of December, everyone was pissed off. It is borderline unplayable on some consoles. Like, that's not acceptable. They should have put this baby back in the oven and given it more time to cook. Should have marinated a bit longer to iron out the bugs. I know everyone hates delays and people fucking called in sick to work for a month just to play it, but they should have fucking delayed it again because there's a lot of glaring issues with this game god damn it i'm so fucking sick and tired of fucking the goddamn bugs in this game pulling me out of the fucking game fucking reload i wish this fucking load time would take fucking longer if it meant that it would load all the goddamn assets correctly cyberpunk 2077 is easily one of the most disappointing games of all time one of the most disappointing games i have ever played PS4 and Xbox One versions of this game are virtually unplayable. Oh my fucking blue screen! Stand by, bitch! One test showed that the frame rate would drop to as low as 15 frames per second. Even worse, the optimization is so bad it makes your eyes bleed. They decided to apologize for all the bugs and all the glitches, and they said we'll definitely try our best to get this game fixed. I do think Cyberpunk 2077 game does have potential for what I've seen. If you take the bugs and glitches and the terrible way this game is operated, it actually looks a really good game, but the problem is, will, Cyber, will CG Project Red have the fans backing when this game officially is, you know, 100% ready and it's got no bugs, no nothing to it, no glitches, no nothing, but will people still be interested at the minute? The only good thing to come out of Cyberpunk 2077 is the Cyberpunk 2077 memes from Keanu Reeves. A good lord, they are fucking hilarious. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. Welcome. If I need your body, I'll fucking dick. An impressive cop. Gwyneth Paltrow 
released a candle last year and lo and behold we're a year on it all sold out but one woman had one of her candles and blew down the freaking house <laughs> <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is no exaggeration. This is no story I made up. This happened. This happened. This actually happened. There was a woman in the United Kingdom. Uh, I just call her Margaret. And she got this um, Gwyneth Powerful VJJ candle. And she won it at a raffle. I mean, I'd like to know what you could win at this freaking raffle. You know, Gwyneth Powerful is a JJ candle. What, do you win Bella Daphne's bath water? Do you win any other weird, you know, do you win a sex doll or something? Is, is it, what fucking raffle was this, Margaret? But anyway, she won a candle at this raffle. She took it home and thought, hey, you know what? Let's light this candle, shall we? She lighted the candle and it blew the fucking house on fire. And... I'm not gonna lie, I'd like to know how she told the fire brigade, you know, like, the fireman came and said, okay, madam, we'll, we'll, we'll sort this out, and they, you know, put the fire out with their hoses, the amount of sex in the windows, I've got, this is insane. And then they see, madam, was this the cause of the fire? This candle? And Margaret's like, <laughs> maybe. So yeah, I it, it just find this story amazing, really. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, if you think you're having a bad day, Margaret just burned down her fucking house with a fucking Gwyneth Paltrow VJJ candle. I've talked about some weird, godforsaken stories on this channel with this show. This can be in with the rest of them on the fucking shelf of what the WTF stories I have just single-handedly talked about on this show. So everyone, stay have another video on the channel and the end of another Tamer Extra video. If you think that Gwyneth Palfrey's JJ candle single-handedly burning down someone's house is going to be the most mental story that you've ever seen, then just lean back and headbutt that motherfucking like button. You can also follow me on my social media platforms. The link, as usual, will be in the description. I hope you all have an amazing day out there. Stay safe and healthy too. Please like, subscribe. The natural, the punk of YouTube, is out.